So welcome in the second tutorial of the Grail section where we will go in details in the replace function. So the replace function search for a string in a colon and replace it by, by another string. You can reference other colon so you can do uh, search and replace uh, in, a, in a dynamic uh, fashion and in this case we will not use uh, the Toronto building permits project but a new project which is a Toronto place of interest if you're a Refine Pro user it's one of the two default projects you have when you create your instance for other users you can download um, the data set from the course materials so let's open our project so let's open our project um, and look at the parent page one with a text filter so here we see that we have commercial end in multiple values and what we want to do is to replace it by a full string E and D so if we want, we can just click edit and replace it with END. It works, but we'll need to do the same operation multiple times for each type of values. So we'll click cancel and use edit cell transform to write one unique expression that will uh, replace all the commercial N. So I use value to as reference to my current cell and to this value I want to replace then I pass my first parameter so I want to replace commercial n that I put between quotes by e and d also put between quotes so no syntax error we're good and if I go through my preview I notice that c commercial n do becomes c e and d do parks remain parks and so on so I click OK and I see like 51 cells have been transformed if I check my uh, facet I notice that all the commercial n been replaced uh, accordingly so we remove my facet and now we will pay more attention to the postal code field so creating a facet and see most of the content is blank except for one postal call and in our case what we want to do is to turn it to a six uh, character string by removing the middle space so we will use the transform function again and we will also use the replace uh, function and here my first argument will be I want to replace a space by nothing and will represent nothing by opening and closing quotes right away. So here I see um, errors because I'm working on null values. So what I do is I will cancel and only select my postal code. So here when you work when you do some facet selection before doing transformation, your transformation will only apply to the row you have selected through the facet. So here I see I've got only one row, which is my row 93 with the postal code. So I re-enter my expression where I want to replace a space by nothing. And here I see expression works as expected. I click OK. So my facet doesn't work because I've selected postal code with a space, but here I see uh, it is set properly. So in the previous present in the slideshow before uh, we mentioned that we can dynamically replace a, a value from one column to another. Click on the old address transform 
And here if I click on the history tab, I see the previous changes I've done. So here I select replace address, old address by nothing. So I will reuse it and instead of old address, I will replace the address clean by nothing. So here every time in the old address it finds a streak from the address clean, it will remove it. So we just have the difference between the two. And here we see uh, 301 front street being removed, uh, for example. Uh, finally, what we will do is uh, address one little trick, which is uh, replacing quotes. And if I go in my title and look, for example, is my title content quotes, I can do a quick text search on single quotes and I see my line 16, 18, 23 contain single quotes. So still doing kind of nonsense transformation just for the purpose of the exercises. I want to replace this single quote by uh, a space. So we put value, value replace, open my quote, put a single quote, close my quote, and then add a space. So here we find, give us a parsing errors at offset 16, which is at this level. Because we put three single quotes in a row, we find don't know where the string stop and start. The trick here is to use double quote instead of single quotes to enclose your string. So I replace all my single quote by double quote and here refine is able to understand that we want to replace a single quote by a space and here we see all the changes are properly done. And now we don't have any more title containing uh, quotes.